Hey, Vino community, what's going on? It's LJ back on a posting rampage here on this Tuesday night. And this post is to say a huge, huge United States thank you to a Vinyl community member, Miko. Uh, if you're not familiar with Miko, I'll put a link to Miko's channel down in uh, the comments. I'm not sure Miko posts a whole lot of videos, but I definitely know that Miko watches the comments on a lot of videos. And Miko is always kind enough to leave comments on my videos and give me tips and pointers. And I always look forward to them. Now, I posted a cassette video a couple of weeks ago. And almost immediately after that, I got an email from Miko. And uh, he mentioned he had something he wanted to send me. You know, who am I to say no? All I kind of did was say, you know, you know, Miko, just an MP3 via email is fine. Miko's in Finland. So I didn't want him to go, you know, flat broke sending me something. It's not necessary. It's expensive. But Miko was adamant it had to be, cassette had to be via mail. And it showed up yesterday. So first, I mean, the speed that it got here of Miko, unbelievable. Unbelievable. When I opened it, I had no idea what to expect. He wouldn't clue me in. So he did write me a note, and right quick, you know, I said, Hi, LJ. It's funny to see you posting a video about cassette finds. I was just about to ask your address, because I wanted to send you a mixtape. Sort of. Great minds think alike, you know? You're damn right, boy. So he wanted to share one of his all-time favorite heavy metal bands, Tarot, or Tarot. Uh, considered as a great grandfather of Finnish heavy metal, but not so well known abroad in Nico. I didn't know about this band. So in his opinion, they haven't gotten the glory and appreciation they deserve, and he'll always remember when he heard Tarot, or Tarot, I'm gonna say Tarot, for the first time in 86. Nine years old at the time, Nico, I didn't realize we were about the same age. I think you're a year younger than I am. His big brother played their debut album, The Spell of Iron, and he couldn't believe they were from Finland. And that's the album that you hear playing in the background behind me. So there's the original Spell of Iron on side A. This is the cassette Nico sent me. And then to celebrate the 25th anniversary, the band re-recorded the album completely last year. And that's on side B. Now it's funny because he goes on to say, this is the fifth, first time in over 15 years he's recorded a cassette, which is so cool. You go, it's so cool to think that you put the record on and a cassette in and hit play and record, just like the old days. That's just awesome. And he says, at least you can hear the authentic vinyl snap, crackle, and pop. That's the first thing I noticed when I put the cassette in. I could just hear it, the little crackles and pops. <coughs> it's just absolutely awesome. He says, um, beware of the subliminal message in the song Pharaoh. I, I don't know what it is, but I guess it hasn't affected me yet. But anyways, this is the cassette. So this is um, the original, the Spell of Iron on side A, and the re-recorded Spell of Iron on side B. And some notes inside about the uh, band members, Miko's channel, the band's website, and uh, the title. And I just thought this was really cool on a number of different, different levels. First, I love, love finding just little slabs of 80s metal that aren't well known and listening to them, checking them out. But knowing that they've gone on and either re-recorded their albums or kept going or came back is just even more awesome. You know, Brother Lazarus, Dwayne, shot a video recently with a similar band, Thor, who uh, kind of had their debut, I think, in 84 and re-released it recently, re-recorded. Twisted Sister did the same thing with Stay Hungry. It's just, for uh, from a headbanger perspective, or maybe other music as well, that's just the coolest thing when they re-record it. So Miko, you wanted to know my thoughts. Okay, so I listened to the original The Spell of Iron probably four times now. Dude, awesome, 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 awesome. Horns up, metal masterpiece. <coughs> Sorry, still kicking the end of a cold here. Miko, it reminds me a hell of a lot like Maiden, uh, and at most points, slower Maiden, maybe kind of, uh, it's kind of it, like a power slave meets No Prayer for the Dying kind of Maiden, is the best parallel I can think to draw. He, very listenable, great lyrics, great melodies, awesome album, awesome album. Now knowing that you have it on vinyl, I have to find it now that I know it exists because this is just killer. I will always love my cassette and I'm going to listen to it infinitely. I will bring it in the car. It's so, so cool. Amico, I'll treasure this. 
is fantastic. It hasn't left my cassette deck. Um, the re-recorded album sounds exactly like it should. Well produced, sounds great, but man, if you're a fan of 80s metal and 80s metal on vinyl, you're always going to go running back to the original, and I expect Nico does the same thing. So both are fantastic, but the original just blew me away. <laughs> so in any event, I wanted to shoot a quick video to properly thank Nico for sending that to me to create an awareness for everybody of Nico's channel, and I will put a link in the comments. And besides the email that I already sent you, Nico, rock brother, thank you so much. Love it. All right, everyone, take care. Ciao.